Good morning, Bebbington. Good morning, Wirral. Good morning, world. This morning, the story of the boy Jesus at the temple. This is Luke and chapter 3, beginning at verse 43. After the feast was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they travelled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me? he asked. Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Every parent's fear losing their son. It happened to Viv and me in Heathrow in 1996. We were in a shop and we lost Christopher. Just like with Jesus, I thought he was with Viv. Viv thought he was with me. In fact, by the time we found him, he'd been walking around on the tarmac and was found by one of the Air Canada staff. So there's a story I'll tell you in more detail another time. Fortunately, we did find him. But one of the things that struck me as we'd heard that he was probably at airport security was that a young lad like Christopher, younger than Jesus, who was about 12 at the time of this story, Christopher was about two. Christopher was possibly not in a position to talk and say, didn't you know that I was sure to be in my father's house? Christopher wasn't uh, going to be saying anything like that. And I was thinking, how will I know? How will be I be able to prove that I'm his father? Well, fortunately, when I got to the end of a corridor, he was in the arms of uh, one of the staff members at the airport. But as soon as he saw me, he started to struggle to get down onto the ground to go towards me. And the staff member let him go and he ran towards me. And I was overjoyed to see him and he was overjoyed to see me. That was a scary day. Now, I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't found him that day. Not at the time, but later I was thinking, this is a picture of Jesus knowing the Father. Jesus, throughout Scripture, we see that he knew his Father. He knew him well, and the Father knew him. As believers, we need to know the Father just as well. And we can learn more about him through his Son, Jesus Christ, and through what Scripture has to say. That enables us to worship more effectively, thanking God for who he is and for what he has done. As we go out into the last day of the week, I pray that we will continue to remember and thank God, knowing who he is 
and what he has done. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>